Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I just want to tell a little story of what happened the other day and want to express my extreme disappointment with the British Heart Foundation. Because the other day as I was getting ready, on Tuesday night we were getting ready to leave, and around 7 o'clock there was a knock at my door, and here in the UK charities flood the main streets and they go door to door asking for donations for you to sign up for monthly donations through your bank account. And I'm not saying I don't give to any charities, but I'm sorry, but after talking to this person, I will never, ever give to the British Heart Foundation. Because this person tried to give me this spiel. Uh, he started with my wife, and then I came over and stepped in, just saying, you know, well, we need money to fund research to help people survive about heart attacks to, for these life-saving drugs that will help people who have heart attacks. And I kind of stepped in, and I said, well, why don't you, instead of doing this, why don't you expend these same resources to promote healthy lifestyles to dramatically reduce the risk factors because obviously drinking alcohol and smoking are extremely high on the list but diet and exercise are your largest contributing factors they're a larger contributing factor than genetics are it is very very rare for someone who takes very good care of themselves who doesn't drink doesn't smoke isn't obese he's a nice balanced healthy diet with lots of fruits and vegetables low in saturated fat who exercises every day to have heart attacks can it happen yes but it's it's like being struck by lightning and he tried to bring this feel of no 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 no, you're wrong it heart attacks can happen to anyone at any time and i'm sorry but i don't know where these people are getting their facts and statistics but it can happen just like anybody can win the lottery Statistically speaking, the overwhelming majority of people, other than children who have heart defects, who are born with heart defects, the vast overwhelming majority of people having heart attacks until they get to extreme old age is 99% lifestyle induced. It is your lifestyle causing it. And for me as someone who promotes fitness, and this is what I do every day, promote fitness, promote better eating habits, promote exercise, physical fitness, for someone to ask me to give them money, which will go to research to help people survive, who basically treat their body like garbage, who don't take my advice just so that they can survive and then go right back to the shitty lifestyle that gave them a heart attack so that they can have another one and then I can pay for that one also. And I'm sorry, but that is grossly offensive to me. And if these people cared at all, about using money wisely, it would be to not only promote better diet and promote better lifestyles, but some of these people would start going after these food companies that are producing all the garbage and the shit that is making people have these heart attacks. And people talk about choices, it's not even about choices. We get to the fact of where when shitty processed food becomes cheaper than fruits and vegetables because of government subsidies and economic factors and governments being involved in subsidizing this because there's big money involved. It's the governments are the problem at that point. So the, these monies from these charities would be better spent going after these companies and organizations. Stop the cause of the cardiovascular risk factors through both education and regulations on these companies that are fucking killing people with the, with the garbage that they're feeding them and the shit that they're putting into people's bodies instead of trying to develop life-saving drugs for people who choose to have a terrible lifestyle. You know what I think? Fuck those people. And that may sound harsh, but as someone who tells people every single day, all the time, I harp on nutrition, harp on training, all these things, people who choose to, to drink, smoke, sit around eating fried chicken, sausage, and bacon every day and sit on their ass and do no exercise, if they have a heart attack because of it, and they know full well these things are going to give them a heart attack, my philosophy is fuck them. This is cleaning up the gene pool. If you remove people who are that stupid because they really and truly don't give a fuck if they die from a heart attack, this is a good thing. You're removing stupid people from the gene pool. And I know that makes me sound like an asshole, but it's just a flaw in my personality and I can't help it. I am an asshole. And I'm sorry, I just, I have no respect for people who do not make that choice and then they're dying as a result of their terrible lifestyle choices that they know are going to kill them. I'm not contributing money to help that. Now, had this money gone to something like, well, let's educate people and let's actually try to remove the problems, I might have been happy to donate. But I just find it grossly offensive that People are coming and asking fitness professionals 
for money to save the lives of people who refuse to take care of their fitness. It just baffles the mind. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time because this rant is over. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh...